throughput accounting ratio. In this session, we are going to learn how to calculate throughput accounting ratio and what are important uses of throughput accounting ratio. So what is throughput accounting ratio? Throughput accounting ratio equals to throughput return per hour on bottleneck resource divided by factory costs per hour on bottleneck resource. Now let's break it down. What do we mean by throughput return and what do we mean by the factory costs? So throughput return as we know in throughput accounting is calculated as selling price less materials, direct materials, direct material costs or sales revenue minus the direct material costs. Whereas the factory costs represent the sum of labor and overhead costs. So what we believe in throughput accounting that with the exception of direct material cost, every other cost is fixed. So when it says factory cost, you can actually consider it as fixed costs in throughput accounting, which is the sum of labor and overhead costs. Once we have calculated the throughput accounting ratio, then remember it has a couple of very important uses. Number one, throughput accounting ratio can be used to rank the products in order of priority if organization faces limitation of resources. Meaning is, when we calculate throughput accounting ratio, uh, higher the throughput accounting ratio, more financially viable the product is, we rank the products. And then on the basis of that, we produce the products. Secondly, throughput accounting ratio helps to identify financial viability or feasibility of a product, whether we should produce it or we should not produce it. So if the throughput accounting ratio of a product is one or above one, we consider that the product is financially viable. But if the throughput accounting ratio is less than one of any product, then on financial grounds, we consider it's not viable. Now, here is a little example which will help us to calculate throughput accounting ratio for each product. So there are two products, A and B. Selling prices are given. Now, what we are looking at, uh, selling prices given, direct material cost given, time per unit on bottleneck resource in hours is given. A takes two hours on the bottleneck resource. B takes one and a half hours on the bottleneck resource. Labor cost and overhead cost for the period amounted to $5,000 and $4,000 respectively. Bottleneck capacity for the period is 3,000 hours. So it may be a machine which is described as bottleneck here. Okay. First of all, we need to consider what is throughput accounting ratio. So if I take you back, remember the formula, throughput return per hour divided by factory cost per hour or fixed cost per hour on the bottleneck. So remember this formula. So we need to calculate the numerator part first, which is throughput return per hour on the bottleneck resource. Now, throughput return is calculated as selling price minus direct material cost. So, throughput return per unit of product A is 12 minus 5, which is $7, and B is 14 minus 8, which is $6. Now, we need to calculate throughput return per hour. So, we will divide this return per unit by the time per unit on the bottleneck, which is 2 and 1.5 respectively, and we will get a complete numerator of each product throughput return per hour $3.5 for A and $4 for B. Is that right? So once the numerator part of the ratio has been calculated, now we are going to calculate the denominator part of the ratio, which is the factory cost or fixed costs per hour on bottleneck resource. Okay. Now the factory cost or fixed costs given here I can put down this just in case if you can see $5,000 was the labor cost and $4,000 was the overhead cost. So the sum of labor and overhead is called as fixed cost, which is 9,000. Bottleneck hours were given in the exercise, which are 3,000. So $9,000 over 3,000 hours that gives us factory cost per hour, which is three. So that's the denominator. Now all we need to do is put the numbers in the ratio A divided by B to get the throughput accounting ratio. 
So here you can clearly see throughput return per hour divided by factory cost per hour. So for product A 3.5, which is the throughput return divided by the fixed cost 3, that gives us 1.17. Okay. Then second product $4 throughput return divided by the factory or fixed cost of 3, that gives us 1.33. Now you can see clearly product B has a higher throughput accounting ratio than A. So in a comparative sense, relative sense, product B will be considered as first ranked product or first priority of the organization. Whereas product A will be considered as the second ranking product.